Hi everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. And today I am here to take a look at Doodling the Tarot. This is a new journal that's out by Drea Bloom. You can find these journals by Drea on Amazon and I will put links in the description box below where you can pick this one up and a couple of the others that I have um, walkthroughs of. I'll put those down there as well. And as the video is going along, I will pop in the cards some of the other walkthroughs of some of her other journals that I've done. Like she has quite a few of these that are very supportive for anybody who likes to be hands-on with their tarot learning. If you want to write, there's questions in there to answer. This one actually has space to draw and doodle. So I thought this was really cool. It is a big book. So I just wanted to show you the size really quickly. You can see it fills my whole screen. So if I'm looking at, this is a Hay House deck. They, it, this is two Hay House decks. <laughs> Actually, this is a U.S. Games deck, but okay. So if you're looking at two Oracle decks, it is the height of two Oracle decks. This is the exact height of it. And across, it is a little bit more. So this is the two Oracle decks, and you can see that there's a little bit more space here at the bottom. So it's a little bit wider than two Oracle decks and the exact height of two Oracle decks. So that's the size of it. And if you want to know the exact size, you can take a look on Amazon. I'm sure it's listed there, but it is a big book. So I just wanted to let you know, there's a lot of space to write and draw. So I didn't want to write in this one because I wanted to keep it neat, but I did write, this is my shadow work journal, which I use all the time. And so I didn't need to keep this one neat. And I, so I went ahead and I, it's the same paper. This is that sort of just regular book paper. So I went ahead and I used the marker and I wanted to see, and it does bleed through just a little bit. So um, you could write on one side, but not both sides if you want to use markers, but it doesn't bleed through onto the next page. So you could do front, you know, just the fronts if you want to use markers, but if you're using pen or colored pencil, you should be fine to be able to, to do that on, on both sides of the paper. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to show you that so that you could see, like if you are going to be doodling in here, what mediums you could use. You definitely couldn't use, I wouldn't suggest using like watercolor, but if you wanted to use like a drier paint, you probably could on the front side. Um, like a, you know, if you wanted to use a marker, like I said, it's, I think it's gonna bleed through a little bit. So, so opening the book, what you have here are some other books by uh, Drea Bloom, who also has written at, under the name Andy Matzner. So you can find her books under both names. And you, um, these are the other books in case you're interested, the other journals and books about the author. Drea is a licensed clinical social worker, a psychotherapist, an author, and an educator who is in love with tarot and likes to give us these journals and these, op you know, these tools to work through our work with our decks. I, I love her tools. I, the shadow work journal I use constantly i'm always using it i'm probably going to end up buying another one when i run through that one um karen channing who inspired her with 365 days of doodling discovering the joys of being creative every day you should definitely check it out okay i have to check that out um some quotes she talks about doodling and why she chose to write a journal on doodling and i think that that was really cool and she asked these questions here what if it were true that doodling activities uh, activates the relaxation response in the brain in the same way that meditation does. And what if it were true that doodling is a form of mindfulness that keeps us grounded in the present moment away from thoughts mirrored in the past or worry anticipation about the future? What if it were true that doodling is an easy and accessible way to manage stress and calm the nervous system? And what if it were true that doodling actually prevents daydreaming by keeping the mind engaged on a similar engrossing task? Which I think is um, an interesting thing to think about because I was like, I find myself personally doing a lot of daydreaming in the last four years since the work from home situation and all of that. I find myself daydreaming quite a bit. And I think it's that like the muscles in my brain just aren't working as much as they used to. And so they're getting weak, you know, and I wonder if something like this could um, strengthen them again, you know, to get me to focus for longer periods of time. Um, and then she asked some other questions. I thought that that was interesting. It was a very interesting read. And then she talks about why doodling in the tarot. And she said she wanted to provide a physical space in which to scribble or sketch tarot cards so that you could focus on reproducing an entire card or you could create your own cards. Um, you can create your own unique vision of the card. You could base your doodle around a particular aspect of the card. Um, 
you can, you know, doodle every single detail of the card and color it in. You do whatever you want, inspired how, however you're inspired to work with it. And then it gets right into the doodling. And so what you get is a gigantic reproduction of the card. So if you wanted to color that in, it's, it, this is big. If you look at an actual tarot card, this is the size of a, a tarot card. This is a regular tarot size. So you can see this is very big, this reproduction. And then you have some um, key phrases down here about the, the card. So I'm entering a new chapter, living fully in the moment, embracing spontaneity, recapturing innocence, trusting your heart's desire, having faith that everything will turn out okay. And then you have four pages, um, one, two, three, actually three pages, sorry. You have three pages behind each card to doodle. And then it just goes on like that throughout the whole book for all of them, majors and the minors. So here's the three of cups. Let me just move it so you can see. Celebrating, coming together in friendship, creating um, community, being extroverted, feeling happy, experiencing gratitude. And then you've got three pages for doodling. And then it goes on to the four of cups. And so that is the whole book. It is, I think that this is an intriguing idea. In the back is just some extra like pages if you want to just color or write notes or whatever. This is the back cover. I think this is an intriguing idea to, if you're, I don't know what you could do with this. I'm thinking if you're studying tarot, if you're creating your own deck and you want to keep notes, if you want to just keep all of your notes on a tarot study in one place, I think that this would be a cool place to do it. You could print out a copy of the card that you're studying. You have a, a full RWS here to compare it to. You can make notes. You can draw lines. You can even doodle, you know, the different symbols or just doodle in general. You know, maybe you end up making your own tarot deck in here, you know? <laughs> so I think that this is fun to have for somebody who likes to doodle. If you like to draw, if you like to um, be creative, like to do graphics and things like that um this would be cool if you're doing a card a day poll but you don't want to just write about it you can use this and write in here you could actually do it three you know you have three pages so you could do a card a day for 78 days and then do it again three times over if you wanted to use this book to do it if you're learning tarot that way or working through a deck that way so this is a this has multiple purposes and multiple uses so i think this is really cool so Here's the surprise, which I don't know if it's much of a surprise because I am absolutely going to be probably, I'm putting it in the, in the title bar, <laughs> but I am doing a giveaway. So I am going to be giving away um, a few things, including this copy of Doodling the Tarot by Drea Bloom. So if you want to enter the giveaway, there are a couple of rules. One, you do need to be in the United States because I will be doing a priority mail shipping and it's going to be just easier for me if you're in the U.S. So you do need to be in the United States of America. Now, the other thing is, is you need to be 18 and older because that's that's a YouTube rule. That's not my rule. You got to be 18 and older. Like and subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed because, you know, I'm going to check that. <laughs> going to check when I pull a winner to make sure that they're subscribed. And then just comment below how you would use this, you know, how you would use a doodling the tarot book when you get it. What would you do with it? What are, what are your plans for doodling the tarot? Let me know in the comments below. Anybody who comments below will be entered automatically into the giveaway. And all you need, so all you need to do is comment and like and subscribe and all of those things. And then, you know, of course, like I said, be in the U.S. and be 18 and older. But um, if you don't, if you want to comment and you want to talk about it, but you don't really want to be in the giveaway, just let me know. I don't have to enter you. It's fine. Um, so that is, you know, no big deal. And you can let me know privately on Instagram if you don't want to put it in the comments. That's up to you. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm totally cool about that. The other thing is, is that I do want to make sure that you're, un that you understand that, um, this is not affiliated with anyone. I do need to say that. It's not affiliated with Drea. It's not affiliated with um, with anybody, with the YouTube or anything. This is just me giving away uh, um, some things that are on my shelf that I think would have a better home with someone else. So I will be giving this book away, but then there are a couple of other things that are going to be in the box. So let me show you. So I've already done a walkthrough of this one and I will put it up in the cards up here for you, but this is Navigating Your Saturn Return 
by Drea Bloom. This is another um, journal by Drea Bloom. So I will, if you want to see what's inside of this one, this is basically a book for going through your Saturn return. So if you're going through a Saturn return, um, which would be every 30 years of life, I think, or about every 29 years, if you're at that space, then this could be useful for you, for a friend, or for someone you know, that you know that might be navigating your Saturn return. This is also, I thought the questions in here, I think were really good for someone going through a hard transition, like a big transition in life, like just getting out of jail, for instance, or going through a big divorce, like after many, many years and things like that. So, you know, this one will be in the box. Another book that will be in the box is The Tarot Spreads and Journal, A Guided Journey to Uncover Your Story, written and illustrated by MJ Colonane. Um, this one for me, it just didn't jive with me and it has a lot of bugs in it. I think I even ended up covering up the spiders. <laughs> like it's a page full of spiders. I don't know if you can see these spiders on this page, but I couldn't do it y'all. I just couldn't do it. So I was like, yeah, this is not going to work for me, but this is really cool. It has a bunch of spreads in the front that help you kind of think about who you are, who you want to be. And then in the back, in the same way as Drea's um, journals, which is what made me put this in here with it. It has like the major arcana. So each of the major arcana has a page and then it has some questions regarding that energy and some places for you to journal or doodle. So it says, in what area of your life do you need a, f um, do you need a faith? Is there an area of your life that you have been careless? So it should be, do you need faith? And is there an area of your life that you've been careless? And then there's space to journal. And then in the back, there's some like there's keywords and then there's some spell craft and spell casting um, information and then just more space to write and doodle um, in the back so this will be in there um when i bought when i got that book it came with this pendulum board i don't use pendulum boards but it's still in good condition and also it came with this crow print so those will be in there with it. I'll be enclosing a few other beautiful prints and also a couple of pins that I got from my Meraki Tarot, um, the Meraki Tarot Kickstarter. I don't really use pins and I don't do bugs. So <laughs> I will be putting these in the, in the box. They're beautiful. A friend of mine just sent me a big old box of decks, including this Alice in Wonderland Oracle, which I already had. So I will be rehoming this one. So this will be in the box. So if you haven't seen it, let me just show you a couple of cards. We have the White Queen. This is by Paolo Barbieri. And um, it's a new one from Los Garabeo. It just came out this year. It's a mass market deck. The Cheshire Puss, making use of the ink. Painted Roses, Waking Up. So yeah, this is just based on Alice in Wonderland and her journeys. Very, very beautiful deck. And I really enjoy the guidebook that comes with this. It has some good um, advice in there. I'll just show you one of the entries so you can see if you even want it. <laughs> so here you can just take a screenshot of that if you're interested. And so that will be in the box. And then last, but certainly not least, I have a extra copy of the Tarot for Transformation to the Pentacles. This is a, um, the she, Drea has, um, this is another one by Drea Bloom. She has the Pentacles, the Swords, and then the Majors of these books out. And we're still waiting on the Cups and the Wands, but this is the Pentacles. I actually had mm -hmm. an extra copy of this because I have my copy that I've been using. And then this is a, an extra copy. It's pristine. I have never opened it. I haven't broken the binding. This is a brand new copy. So um, I didn't even use this when I was doing the walkthrough. So this is like, it's brand new, barely touched. Um, so if you would like that, it will be in the box. So just to recap, what will be in the box? Tarot Spreads Journal by MJ Colonnade, Navigating Your Saturn Return by Drea Bloom, Tarot uh, for Transformation to the Pentacles by Drea Bloom, the... Pentacle, the pen, um, pendulum board, some prints, some pens, the Alice in Wonderland Oracle deck, and finally, last but not least, the Doodling the Tarot. And if you want to enter, what you need to do is comment below how you'll be using this book when you get it. What, what are your plans for Doodling the Tarot? 
that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. So good luck to anybody who's entering the giveaway. For anyone else who just wants to know where you can get these books, I will put links in the description box below for everything that all the books that I showed here today, as well as a few others by Drea Bloom that I've done walkthroughs of. And like I said, if you check the cards, there'll be some videos there for you as well if you're interested in seeing more things by Drea Bloom. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. I release videos every few days regarding tarot and oracle and also books. <laughs> I'm in a book era now. So yeah, I do that as well. There are playlists if you want to check. And until I see you guys next time, stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.